Hi, my name is Dale Brown, and I get the privilege of being the pastor here at Community Church at Ocean Pines. Many years ago, I discovered the writings of a man named the Reverend Dr. Mark Roberts, and I was very impressed. In fact, I used his commentary in one of the series that I had many times. So when I saw that Dr. Roberts was at Fuller, and he was at that time the head of what is called the Dupree Center for how we live in the last third of our lives, I was intrigued. He has since left that position and is a consultant or advisor to the Dupree Center. I saw an article written by Dr. Roberts a few days ago on the topic of resilience. And I need to make sure you understand that these are his thoughts and he deserves a full credit for what I think are outstanding ideas. He begins by asking us to read 1 Thessalonians 2, verses 1 through 2. And those verses read in this way. You yourselves know, brothers and sisters, that our coming to you was not in vain. But though we had already suffered and been shamefully mistreated at Philippi, as you know, we had courage in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in spite of great opposition. Now, perhaps you remember what happened at Philippi. Paul and his band of friends, Paul and Timothy, created a disturbance because of something that happened. They were placed in jail and were praying and singing hymns. And in the middle of the night, the Lord heard them. Their chains were taken off and the door of the jail opened by a great earthquake. And you'll remember that the Philippian jailer came running in and said, please don't leave. And he was ready to take his own life because he was personally responsible for all of those prisoners. And Paul said, no, we're still here. And he went and preached to the Philippian jailer and his family, and they all became Christians. Dr. Roberts takes up the topic of resilience. And he notes that the term resilience has just skyrocketed on Google hits and all kinds of ways of, uh, of thinking about it. And he reminds us of Paul's example, that Paul constantly was under stress and pressure, and yet he continued to do what God had called him to do. That's resilience. And he suggests that we do a few things here in this day. And it's first, take a look at your life. See what places of stress you could reduce or or maybe even remove. Secondly, care for yourself. When I first started out in ministry, I thought self-care was unimportant. Now that I've been around for almost over half my life in ministry, I understand it is, and I'm sure it's even worse for other types of occupations. And third, pray. Ask God to help you with resilience to grant you resilience, the ability to stand like Paul in the midst of difficult times. I'd like to read his prayer. And again, this is Dr. Robert's prayer, not mine. And here are these words. Gracious God, thank you for giving Paul and his colleagues the courage to press on their work even though they had experienced such terrible things in Philippi. Thank you for the times when you had given me strength to carry on even when I am discouraged and feel defeated. God, I do need resilience today, not only in my work challenges, but things in the world around me seem to be spinning out of control. It's easy to feel discouraged or even to fall into depression. So I ask for your help, Lord. Strengthen me as you once did Paul and his colleagues. Today I also pray for others in, who need resilience. Though my life is challenging, I know people who are facing overwhelmingly difficult things. I think of people who have lost loved ones, 
and are struggling with grief. I think of friends who are dealing with debilitating pain. I think of folks who are having such a hard time in their work, wondering if they can keep on going. For these and so many others, Lord, I ask for the gift of resilience. Amen. I'd like to recommend a book to you if I could, and that book is entitled Temper Resilience. It's written by another Fuller person, Todd Bolsinger, B-O-L-S-I-N-G-E-R. In these days when we all need resilience, I'm thankful for this article by Dr. Roberts and the books and writings of Todd Bolsinger. May God bless you today.